Welcome back, everybody. We are so excited to continue our series. We're open Arizona. In case you have missed some of it, we're shedding light on local businesses and the people behind them who make up our communities. This is large and small business owners who are really trying to make a difference and they really need your support throughout this pandemic. So today we're taking you to a place and we hope you'll have a look at an awesome spot where you can share the power of a book. You know, I just want to be in the store every minute. That's Gail Shanks, co-owner of Changing Hands Bookstore, an independent bookstore that's been part of the Valley for nearly 50 years. She loves her store, but more than that, she loves the sense of community that bookstores create. We have a community gathering place that people can come into and not only interact with other booksellers, but with other people from the community. So it becomes a, a sort of a third place, you know, a place where people, it's not work, it's not home, but it's a gathering place where you can meet your friends or meet new friends. No surprise here, business is a bit different these days. Book clubs, author showcases, and workshops have now gone virtual, but her store is open and the books are on the shelves, ready for someone to find, to provide an escape. One of the things that has brought people so much pleasure is reading books. It's the same story at the Poisoned Pen in Scottsdale and at Bookman's Entertainment Exchange, which has stores around the state. It just stopped on a dime. I mean, there wasn't even time to really, you know, say goodbye to people. It just was, we were open and then bang one day, it all went away. One of the things that defines Bookman's, I think, um, particularly as a kind of big box used bookstore is that we're a place where people go to hang out and just shop around all day and kind of discover unexpected treasures. And certainly in an environment where you don't necessarily want to be hanging out with other people a lot um, and we need to be keeping our, our distance, it becomes difficult. The Poison Pen has shifted all of its operations entirely online for the time being. This will be the first holiday we have not been open for people to, to shop in the store. And you know, that, that's a really sad thing for us, and we're trying to work out how to accommodate that. Over at Bookman's, they've reopened and added additional safety measures. We've just been writing it out day to day, week to week, month to month, sort of like everybody in our communities, you know, just kind of hoping for the best and doing the best we can every day to try and do our part to keep things safe as they can be. For We're Open Arizona, I'm Chelsea Davis. Well, all of them are hoping that their efforts will keep the next page of their story reading to be continued instead of the end. So they really need your support. And if you need any last minute holiday gifts, books are great ones. You can go there today to any of those three places. Oh, and there's another one, Palabras, which is a bilingual bookstore. You would have to go today, though, because they're closing tomorrow and then they're going to open in a new spot in January. So if you want to check all four of those out, you can go to abc15.com slash open. And then please let us know who we should feature next. All of your emails come to us directly. We love receiving them. That email address is openinaz at abc15.com.